So what we want to do is we want to pose a scenario to you. Yes. Um, you're all alone, solo trekking in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. And you come up against a, a raging animal and they only have sights for you. Mm -hmm. You have no tools, nothing, just hand to hand. Which one of these, if any, or maybe multiple, would you be able to fend off or beat in a fight? Okay, so I've got nothing with me. Just, just your hands, Just, just, just your bare knuckle Muay Thai hands. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So the first one, yeah. in Thailand, a barracuda. Oh, barracuda. Yeah, I've been stalked by a barracuda. Fun fact. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Exclusive. <laughs> they, so they love shiny things, and I was doing a night dive, um, and I think it was, it was something on me that was too shiny, and it kept following me, and then it kept going past my vision. And then I was shining, and then one of the instructors pointed. I think that's the sign for Barracuda underwater scuba diving. Oh, wow. And he was like, you, you, f you watch it. And then I think it was something on my dive watch, and I had to like cover it, and I was still shining because I realized it had been following me for at least a minute or two, which is a long time underwater, you know? Yeah, yeah. And I was like, what the f***, where is this? Because they, be, they could be big, maybe a, a yeah. meter, meter big, maybe over. Hmm. Um, and then it vanished. But they can attack shiny things, or they can sometimes go for, wow. go for you. I remember thinking, oh, okay. And then I got up and the instructor said, yeah, it was following me for a while. It, it, was, uh, it was your watch or it was something around my wrist yeah, yeah. that I had to cover. I remember having to cover. Um, you yeah. taking it? You knocking one out? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that was <laughs> an easy one. <laughs> they can't no. take your shiny shit. Yeah. yeah, I think just do that and it'll, it'll stay away. <laughs> the next one, which you had a close encounter with, yeah. a jellyfish. Oh yeah, jellyfish. Yeah. I almost descended on it. Yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah, These yeah. are all stories I give you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Holy shit, yeah. Um, what would I be able to beat it in? <laughs> yeah, you're taking out underwater as well. You're in the It's element. coming for you. Yeah. Yeah. Else. Oh, I could outswim it. So, okay. Okay. That, so counts. Yes. that counts. That counts. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah that counts. counts. Definitely outswim it. Yeah, I couldn't <laughs> outswim a barracuda. <laughs> I'd have to get my elbows in on that. <laughs> the last one of underwater, we have a stingray. They still got Steve Irwin. Yeah, you better than Steve Irwin. Oof. <laughs> That's a <another> question. <laughs> no, um, oh, stingray. Punching a stingray. Just <laughs> Can you outswim a stingray? How fast are they swim? You can't they're, outswim they're, they're it, I think. Fast. Yeah. They're quite fast. I, I think they, but, and, they, and they would be quite slippy, wouldn't they? Yeah, mm. they would. You have to scratch it. It's got to avoid the stinger, though. And you though. couldn't grab its, its barb, isn't it? It's nah, got a barb. Yeah, barb yeah. You couldn't grab its barb. Um, That's a long day, bro. <laughs> I, I, so I couldn't beat it. I think I could survive it. Fair. Right. How, how would you? Ooh. I think I would have to keep. I would have to like hold on to see its wings. It's little, yeah. Yeah, I would yeah. have to just put a barrier up where it would. That's why I was thinking it would be mm. slippy, wouldn't it? I'd have to just hold it back, keep pushing it back. Yeah. Uh, until I get exhausted and drown. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put that in a maybe part. I'll give that one yeah, yeah, maybe. maybe. Um, all right. Now onto the land animals. Okay. We start with a Tibetan Mastiff. Yes. You knock it out? I roundhouse kicked a Tibetan Mastiff. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell us that story. <laughs> yeah. We need yeah. to know. We need yeah. to know. <laughs> and so this is funny because this oh, is... Peter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and <Ryan. laughs> So this is... This is right where, so we were walking in twos. It was me and Kyle, my videographer from Texas, and we were, uh, were stalked at that point for two days by a pack of wolves, but the pack of wolves sensed no weakness. They left us alone, they drifted. And then I was trying to get Kyle to stay with me because I knew this was dangerous territory. And he was like, he can't, he had a big shoot for the North Face and he bailed. Hmm. Um, and so he had to bounce and then I continued and it was two days after Kyle had left me that I made it back to some form of a track, mm -hmm. right? So I'm walking down this track. I can see a guru in the distance, but I wasn't excited by that. I was just like, that's fine. I'm just going to walk by and wave. Uh, I didn't need to stop. And I see two girls outside the gur with two Tibetan Mastiffs. And they're usually chained up, like chained around, around the neck, chained to the ground with a stake. Mm -hmm. They're chained up. And these weren't. And I think they weren't because they just did not expect to see another person. Mm. And I didn't know that. I thought they were chained. So I just plod along. <laughs> and at this point, I didn't have no walking sticks. Mm -hmm. They made me get walking sticks. I'll tell you. Oh, I'll tell you yeah. And then they, both of them just run instantly towards me. 
And at first, I'm kind of like, oh, it might be okay, because normally they'll just come close and they'll bark. Mm. I've had to throw rocks at them in the past before, but they've normally come quite close and they stayed mm. away just barking. Mm. But it was the look on the girls' face, oh, on their faces, and the way they ran after the dogs. Mm. That's when I realised they're not Fuck. chained and the girls are scared yeah. for me. Um, and then I, oh, I see them coming. I bend down, I pick up a number of rocks, and... I wait for them to get on the grass bankment, mm -hmm. which hits the track. And then as soon as they do, and I realize they're not stopping, boom, I stop throwing these rocks at them. <laughs> and then I'm all of a sudden, I'm out of rocks. Shit. And they're barking. This went on for about two minutes, by the way. I was mm, fucking wow. exhausted right. because I had the backpack on me still. Mm -hmm. And they were coming, they came so close that I could no longer bend down mm -hmm. to get any rocks because they would go for my face. And I just remember keeping them like at bay trying to keep them in front of them here the, what, the last thing I wanted was one of them to get behind me because yeah. then I'm double yeah, f you know sure. and then these girls are trying to grab this master but the master's like turning around barking and snapping at them and they're like oh Damn. like Damn. screaming back and I'm like fucking hell so they not even they've got got my back they can't help with this um, and then I had to fake like pretend that I've got and they were flinching the dogs were flinching until <laughs> they caught on because it was like two mm. minutes and they're like he's not got anything and then it got so close I literally had to f kick Bang! Mad. Kicked it and it hurt my foot doing it as well. Like, I <laughs> Got hit with the shin. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, was, it was like yeah. shin and foot. Yeah, yeah. It was like oh. wrong, but I I caught it and it gave out a little yelp and it wasn't deterred. It kept coming back, kept coming back, uh, and then I kicked it again. And then uh, I managed to bend down, throw more rocks. And this one rock that I got, it was fairly big at the yeah. beginning. The first one I threw, it hit its side and it yelped again, almost fell. Because I just like shot put it right into the side. <laughs> uh, but it, get, it just kept coming and coming. Um, how, did you, how did they get off? Um, eventually, they, they just got tired. Wow. They just got sick of it. They weren't getting to me. Savage. And I didn't Savage. even have time to get the rucksack off because that was heavy. And yeah. I was just like, fuck no time to unclip mm. and they just after, after kick two minutes 20 kg on your back <laughs> yeah I roundhouse kicked 20 kg on my back it yelp came back for more <laughs> so you were still attached to the trailer no that was in China oh sorry in China. that was the Yangtze <laughs> River yeah no trailer it was just a rucksack yeah, yeah. Wow. mad so he's um, taking that basically yeah, oh, so yeah, 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 so he's taking it yeah, yeah, if they it. didn't stop and I got exhausted it was two against one as well wasn't it yeah, yeah. it was two of them yeah come yeah. on yeah. You're taking one all day long, mate. Yeah, he wins. <laughs> yeah. He wins, he oh. wins. We'll go for an easy one now. Okay. Hey, an army of red ants. Oh, God. <laughs> you were sleeping next to them in Burma and you were yeah, happy about it. Yeah, <laughs> maybe the trick is just to let them go by. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe, if, and they are going to attack me. Yeah. Yeah? My mind is on the ants, I, mate. I, 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 I can <laughs> run, right? I can run. You can run? Yeah. Oh, yeah, me, uh, me then. Fair. You'll run away? I'm running away. Yeah. I, I don't want none fair. of that business. But how, how many are there? An army, hundred thousand. Yeah. What, what's an army? What's an army? Of an army. There'll be thousands. Yeah. Let, thousands. Let's say a few thousand. Yeah. Three but thousand. You, you're running and you're running away from them, and you got shit. They're still Ooh. slow in the grand scheme of things. Yeah. So you can yeah, run. Can't right? catch yeah, you can outrun an ant. Yeah, you can outrun. Yeah. yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. Fair, fair. This one may may stumble you in your tracks. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, nah. <laughs> no chance. That's a that. bear for everyone yeah, watching. Yeah, no chance. That's okay. a black bear as well. So yeah, with 100%. them, you can't even play dead. You have to fight for your yeah, life. Yeah, so yeah, you, have you, to, you have to try and scare them. Into yeah. It. yeah. Is that yeah. the one in China? Uh, no, that's a Tibetan brown bear oh, in China. Okay. Different, okay. Slightly different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah slightly different. Oh, what about the Tibetan brown bear then? Tib yeah, nah. Right, same mm. vibe then. Same vibe. Yeah, I think you could try to, to scare it off, try mm. to warn it. Make yourself aware, like make them aware that you're present, and mm. then. But if they are gonna attack you, they're hungry. They're hungry. It would almost be like a little baby trying to fight his dad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you'd be grabbing his fur. Like, get off! <laughs> <laughs> it's not happening. Right, strong opinions about this one coming up. By the way, I'm getting ready for this. Yeah, one, one of the four of us thinks they could take this easy. The hands down. One. I wouldn't okay. say easy, but I'd say take it. Kangaroo. I'm taking a kangaroo. Man. A kangaroo. Like oh. You seen the guy boxing a kangaroo, just a one, two in the face. And yes, that and we'll, we'll, we'll say a Never male with adult. Man's dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I can do the same. Yeah. I think I'm, this has um, been like a funny one we've gone on before. We're saying oh. a male adult kangaroo here. A male adult kangaroo. I think that would be very, very hard. Um, but you, you, but your life depends on it, right? So yeah. it's do or die. Mm -hmm. If it's do or die, I like to think I would try to. So you'd have to avoid its claws yeah. and its kicks. Fucking wow, powerful! They can literally slice you open. Uh, I would have. I would have to try to get from get from behind. 
mm. and I'd right. have to grapple the son of a bitch from behind. <laughs> <laughs> that BJJ, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would have. Whether I could or not, I have no idea, but... An incoming kangaroo. <laughs> yeah. Do you think you would, would? Would you take your chances? <laughs> or run? You mean? As in, I would run if I could. Yeah, for sure. I don't I think you can outrun. Out out no, you can't out outrun if it chooses to to approach and you have to fight. Yeah, I would just try my best to get it from behind. Yeah. Do you think you're over fifty percent confident you would win that fight? <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm, Charlie, put the camera on me. Um, I'm gonna look like a right twat. <laughs> Over fifty percent. Ash, please. I'm gonna for me, yeah. for me. I'm, I'm gonna give it a confident yes. Yes. Oh, okay. All right. I'm gonna right. have to. Yeah, that's that's yes, part. Part. <laughs> He's, He's I don't go Muay Thai. Yeah. Mongolia, bro. <laughs> you think 100 percent no for Hamza, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll keep it moving. A Mongolian eagle. A Mongolian eagle. Um. That's a pepe's, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna give it a yes. I'm going to give it a yes, but it's a struggle to say yes. I think it would be dependent on how it was to approach me because mm -hmm. I know their attack is lethal. And I think if it went from behind right into the neck, they can do damage. Mm. But I do know that they, they, they sh break rabbits' spines, don't they, necks? Yeah, they drop them from like heights. But I don't know if they... They do hunt foxes and oh, they really? do hunt wolves but i don't know if they have the power to snap a wolf's neck on mm. on approach mm. but i do know the smaller prey that they, right. they definitely do and so it depends where that claw because they 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 fly forward like that don't they and they try to pierce them yeah. would you be able to hear it coming no that's what i mean and wow. so it depends on that's crazy where it hits i think mm. if it hits me and i'm okay and now i'm aware that it's there yeah um it would be a case of each time it comes, you put in your arms in front, which you've got to be careful. I think, I think what I would do, right? What I would do, because I have thought about this. You get a lot, a long time to think solo in the desert, <laughs> uh, in the Altai Mountains. <laughs> I saw these hunting actually, yeah. Yeah. and I think what I would, what I would do is I would wrap a t-shirt around my wrists, because your arteries there. Mm. I would wrap that around, have my gloves on, because I had desert sandstorm gloves anyway. Um, cover myself as much as I could, buff, mask, and then I would just be watching it. And mm. one of the times that it swipes down, I would grab it. Once I've got hold of it, it's fucked. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, I've just got its neck. I'm just yeah, stuck yeah. on its head. It's, mm. it's done. Fair enough. Fair. Are they the kind to like scratch out your eyes and stuff as well? Are they different kind that you would Yeah, no, they, they, could, they could try. I think they would probably try to approach you from behind and go for the neck. Mm. Yeah, they swim um, down like this and grab you and they take you back up and then just, like mm. you said, drop you. Yeah, mm. but they yeah. wouldn't be able to pick up a human, obviously. Yeah. 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 <laughs> But little kids, they've been seen trying to fly off with babies. Yikes. Yeah. Oh, man. It's been caught on camera. That's crazy. We've man. got four left. Okay. All right. <laughs> Not saying they're easier or worse than, than what you've already seen. A pit viper. Ooh. A pit viper. Um, Mongolian pit viper. Also, we've, we've taken all of these animals from what you've verbally said in your book. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you definitely know what this is. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, a pit viper. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure in my Mongolian, in my Mongolia trailer, I had gators. Do you know that you know the gators that strap on? From yeah, your, yeah. So you're yeah, yeah. they effectively snake proof to snake. Oh on. really? Yeah. So oh. you you could, but if it gets you and by surprise you are, f especially in the middle of nowhere. Mm -hmm. Now we're saying Bruce Buffer, it's time to go. <laughs> oh, it's time to go. Yeah, yeah, I would take a pit viper. Yes. How would you How would you take it down? I would if I've got my gators. Yeah. Yeah, I've got my gators it. and I'm just booting it, just booting the shit out of it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just like the um, you have the you have horses do that, don't you? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Zebra, I'm sure zebra. Mm. Well, they yeah, they can just and and giraffes, they right. just fucking trample shit. Oh, yeah. Just trample oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Fair. Okay. okay, awesome. Fair. <clears throat> and they're slow. You could outrun one. Oh yeah. He designed these, by the way. Yeah, these, no, these, <laughs> are, these are good. This uh, you feared because it stalked you for a while. Ooh. Just one of them. Ooh. Just one of them. A wolf. Uh, yeah. You know what? They're a lot bigger than people think. They are big. How Their big? How big's a like... mastiff? And how big's a wolf? Just out um, of curiosity. Oh, a great, a big grey wolf. Some of the big ones that you find, but I don't know if you, you get the huge ones in Mongolia. You do get grey wolves in Mongolia, but if you look towards Canada, uh, Alaska, they are everything's bigger there, right? Yeah. Mm. It's all bigger in the US. <laughs> then they are bigger than the mastiff. Yeah. Uh, Is a mastiff like waist height? Would you say? 
in terms of when that's just when it's standing with the with the foot i would say it is but it's back it's back is maybe that's waist height basically oh no yeah. with the foot maybe here that's higher mm. than with his head they, they can be big i'd Damn, say here head pretty it's big, up to your, it's like, like up to your sternum really really no, that's about waist height, isn't it? Oh, waist height. Oh, okay, fair. About here. Yeah, oh, yeah fair. about... But they get bigger than that, don't they? Mm, in, yeah. in Canada. Sure. Um, a, a pack of them, no. They've got you. Mm. They've definitely got Because you would just get exhausted. Mm. And they're they, clever. They, they know how to how to do your... They stalk you. Yeah. yeah. One on one? One wolf. One wolf. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> that would be horrific, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. If they get you up there... If if they clamp yeah you might not survive after the fight <laughs> but yeah, who's dying that, first that's the thing yeah. Yeah. I think that's a good way to if die. you die second it counts as winning yeah, oh 100%. 100%. Okay. 100% yeah I think I would yeah I think I've I think I've got it I like to grapple think. it yeah. depends on your strength and yeah, weakness in terms of like where on an adventure it gets you if that was the Altai Mountains and a wolf I reckon I've got it if that was oh. the Gobi Desert mm. and it was the wolf the wolf wins interesting mm. Perfect. We'll give you the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. Watch me get fucked over by every single one. <laughs> right, second last one here. A backfield camel. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> no, no competition. It's massive. Pure muscle, aren't they? Yeah, muscle. yeah I reckon if that wants me, that just does what it wants to me. Oh, good thing they're pretty vegetarian. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can never imagine actually getting into... A fight with it, although they are temperamental. Mm. Well, they can get well moody. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. How do they show their like moodiness? By being a dick to them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember in the Sahara Desert in Morocco. This wasn't like a big time adventure, but yeah, there was one that was just miserable. They had to take it out of the caravan. They were just like, yeah, we can't do anything with it. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> like, yeah, it's having one of those days. Like, so you literally you have to leave. Yeah, it won't just won't do anything. It's uh, anything we do or say. Fair enough. Just like wow. That's yeah, so there's no way you can incentivize it. Or like <laughs> give it some food. It's just like no, it will like bite you. It will. Can they spit? I think they can spit. Yes, they spit at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that that call. comes at you fast. Yeah, and they <laughs> are bigger as well. They yeah. are battery and camel, right? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah I saw a few of them. They are. Yeah, they're they're big. Okay. Last one. The last one, which I would argue is given the most grief, um, because of the cocoa pops, <laughs> Azebu. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. The zebu are. Um, that's funny because if it was the wild yak, mm. I would say no chance. Mm. Domesticated is one. No, I still say no chance. <laughs> <laughs> Z- yeah, I think the zebu, zebu's got it's just pure muscle again, isn't it? Those horns. That looks scary. I know, it looks well, scary. Yeah. That's like yeah. the devil's cow. <laughs> <laughs> okay well to finish off then I would yeah. like to find out the ones you've said no to so we have stingray uh, any type of bear really <laughs> um, a bacterial camel and a zebu which one would you fear the most so is that the which one would I fear the most is the mm. bear okay. the bear like, hands the bear. down yeah, yeah. Okay. you can't do anything yeah you All right. what about what about the one that you think best chance against I guess with these four St- uh, is Stingray on that list? Yeah, Stingray is on the list. Yeah, Stingray. <laughs> <laughs> throw, throw in the other pile. Throw in the other pile. All right, Beer, Camel, and, and Zebu. Yeah. The best chance against. Um, I think. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'd say Zebu for you. I think that's probably. I think. Yeah, I'm thinking it's Yeah, but Camel is massive. massive though. Look at that. I know yeah. Camel's huge It's got a whole Bro, you the most Alpha looking <laughs> yeah, I'm, The way I I'm to make thinking, this a challenge <laughs> Yeah <laughs> Is which one would Exhaust quicker mm. Out of what the Out zebu. of the Zebu And the Camel oh, Let's put these up Probably the Let's zebu. put these back to The back. Camel's Surfing the desert Caravan in the desert Great right? for endurance Right Yeah They probably the, charge though isn't it? I think charge. I think if you can Yeah if you can get past A certain amount of charges <laughs> <laughs> And get And let it get tired Where it just can no longer Really be bothered to charge you because it's a bit tired. Yeah. Then maybe there's less power in its Thanks. in its hit. It's tiring out. I would get fucked up by both, but I would probably <laughs> choose to try the zebu. All right, we'll yeah. take that. Awesome. We'll take that. And black bear's just not the having king. it. <laughs> just not having it. 